concepts for 1941 Colombia came a lot from traveling experiences I had throughout Europe, specifically in cities like Paris, Venice, and Lisbon. So one of the things that was really remarkable to me was the, the density of the streets, the density of the, the apartments, and you kind of meander through the streets and you discover new things and you turn a corner and it, it, it invites you to move. Um, and I liked that because you would get into a tight space and all of a sudden open up into a plaza and you'd have people out on the street eating dinner and they'd even sometimes invite you in for, for a glass of wine or for, for a meal and I like that casual interaction on a comfortable level for the, for the residents here. So in the design there's always a balance between the public and private realms and in, and in this space you know it was really important because we're on a, a very tight site here it's a 5,000 square foot lot it's 50 feet wide by 100 feet deep which being that we're downtown or in Little Italy we're building right to our property line uh, we can have neighbors on three sides of us completely blocking us in. So the solution to that was to fragment the buildings away from each other and then we filled the voids with private exterior patios or, or with courtyards. And it allowed a lot of light, ventilation to get through. Um, and again, when you're going out of your unit, you're literally going outside into a more of a social space and more of a, a landscaped environment rather than a hallway. The material choices here were based strictly on functionality. We try not to decorate the architecture at all, but we use uh, really functional, natural materials. The white of the, the building was really important for the light, and it really bounces the light, reflects the light into the spaces and into the units. We wanted to you know, get away from the harshness of what a modern building could be, so we use a lot of more rustic materials, a lot of wood. Uh, we want the wood to age naturally. We use a recycled brick on the floor in the courtyards. So it just brings another layer of warmth. One of the things that we did here was really focusing on efficiency and quality of space. And I think that reflects some of the most sustainable qualities of a building. My favorite part of the whole process is at the end when I get to watch how the building is inhabited, how the building reacts and how people react to the spaces. So I'm really excited to see how the tenants come in and take advantage of this space and, and change the vision and, and the direction of where it's going to go in the future.